Hey guys, it's Dakota, aka XO Yu Gi Oh! Hope you guys are doing alright. Uh, today I am bringing you a counter video on how to counter, you guessed it, Mage Specters. Mage Specters are, you know, wind spellcaster, little teeny tiny monsters with a new pendulum mechanic. And these guys have literally changed the face of Yu Gi Oh! I've never thought I'd see an arch type, you know, like with Cosmos, I was alright with floaters for days. You know, Pepe, I saw that. They, you know, it's just pendulum stuff. They could care less if you destroy, you know, their scales and whatnot. But Mage Specters, in my opinion, have changed Yu Gi Oh the most because you, you can't even play you can't even play helmet decks anymore. You can't put certain like techs in your deck like Mirror Force, things like that, because of Mage Specters. I mean, you're playing a, you're playing in a tournament or whatever. And you go up against a mate specter, and you have a bunch of these back row that destroy and target. I mean, you're you shall luck. The mate specter player is going to laugh in your face. But you know, here uh, I'm going to try to you know help you with some side deck choice and stuff. I recently uh, played in a tournament, big huge regional, and played a, a mate specter player. And these are some of the cards that helped me win my match. So here we go. Uh, the first card is, I think it is pretty alright. It helps a lot, but uh, I don't want to say it's the weakest amongst the cards you can use, but it's still good because, you know, obviously you want with the Mage Specters where they're weak and stuff and, you know, the with the, how they're pendulums and, the, you know, every single turn they're trying to pendulum summon and get their searches off. Poisonous Winds, do, you know, really does help because they can't special summon the Wind Monsters. And also the secondary effect helps too because... Where they get the boost from the field spell, you know, you can take that back. Plus, you know, where they're already weak monsters, you just, you know, drain them, drain them even more. Second card that helped me out the most, it, you know, in my match against the main specter was definitely DNA surgery. Flip this card over, and my opponent, he had, I think it was two or three main specter cards, you know, or monsters, and face down he had, I think it was three or four. Mage Specter specific cards, you know, Tempest, the tor Tornado, uh, just, I mean, he had everything. I, I flipped this over, called a different monster type, and, you know, uh, they, they weren't able to do anything. I mean, it, it, was really, it was really funny. I mean, to be honest, if I was a Mage Specter player, I wouldn't rely too much on these, you know, the Arch, or not Arch type, but the Attribute slash type. Uh, spells and traps that much. I'd only probably keep them pretty low. But if you can't afford DNA surgeries, DNA transplant is really cheap right now. I mean, we're, it's just the same thing. Uh, and it might be better, too, because in all honesty, if someone's playing uh, Mage Specters, if it was me, I'd put a Dolka and Logia in the side just in case someone called Dinosaur. In this, in this case, you know, if you just call a Dark a Attribute, I mean, there's nothing you can go into XYZ-wise that is going to, you know, hurt someone. But this card right here is what helped me out the, the most, bar none. This card was flipping amazing because, number one, they couldn't activate their spells and their traps, you know, the, the ones that are the archetype specific, the Mage Specter ones. And they couldn't sacrifice their own monsters for the Unicorn because a lot of people don't know that the second Zombie World effect is that, you know, you can't tribute some of the monsters except for Zombie-type monsters. Which is amazing. Um, if you're playing our type that, you know, like Monarchs, or if you're playing something like, you know, if you have a Vanity's Fiend inside, probably wouldn't use this card. But, I mean, if you, you know, just playing something that really doesn't sacrifice that much or anything like that, definitely play the Zombie World. It is amazing. I mean, they can still uh, Pendulum Summon and stuff, but this card with Poisonous Wind is the fucking bee's knees. It is the fucking cat's pajamas. It's amazing, I'm telling you. Uh, again, against my inspectors. Uh, let's see. Well, I think that, that's all we got right now. If you guys can think of any more, just, you know, tell me in the comments or whatever. But, uh, you know, I want to try to get out some more videos this month, and hopefully I'll uh, see you guys soon. This has been XO Yu-Gi-Oh! Sign out.